So, where do you live? Okay, ne? Joss, Accra, Ibadan, Nairobi. Well, you carry out your life sustaining activities wherever you live. You live in a shelter, you find food and water, you go to school and play where you live. You see, other living organisms like plants and animals have places or homes where they live and carry out several life activities. These places are called habitats and there are several of them in our biosphere. Living organisms live, find food and water, mates, and protection from adverse weather and predators within their habitats. Within their habitats, organisms are affected by both biotic factors like the presence of other animals and predators and abiotic factors such as sunshine and rainfall. But I don't know. I'm not sure animals probably name their habitats like we humans do. Elephant Avenue or Iroko Clothes. Well, to enable us to study these habitats, biologists have decided to classify habitats into two broad groups. They are aquatic habitats and terrestrial habitats. Aquatic habitats are composed of water and could range from small bodies of fresh water like ponds to brackish water in estuaries and to large bodies of marine, that is salt water, like oceans. Estuaries contain brackish water which is a mixture of salt and fresh water. Aquatic plants and animals reside in water bodies and they are able to carry out their activities within the water. Examples include fish, crabs, dolphins, ducks, duckweed, and water lilies. Terrestrial habitats are on land and there are several plants and animals that live on land. Terrestrial habitats include forests, grasslands, marshes, and deserts. Arboreal habitats, like the top of trees, are often considered part of terrestrial habitats because the trees that arboreal animals like birds and monkeys live on and carry out their activities are rooted on land. Organisms that live in terrestrial habitats include elephants, lions, cattle, maize plants, trees, cactus, and birds. Plants and animals are able to live within these habitats and adapt to the changes within them. For instance, when food is scarce, rabbits may move from one part of a farm to another where food is abundant. They are able to dig and hide in burrows to escape predators like foxes and wolves. They also keep their young in these burrows and they dive into them when it rains to protect themselves from cold and from getting wet. There are several many interesting ways by which organisms survive in their habitats and we'll be looking at these in subsequent lessons. But before we go, remember that a habitat is a place where living organisms like plants and animals live and carry out several life activities. I'll see you in the next lesson.